news you can use. It's been an, a very eventful week this week uh, with regard to housing news. First of all, yesterday, um, the CDC announced and was supported by the Biden administration, the eviction moratorium, which was to expire the last day of this month, has been booted back one more month. Now, if you guys remember about a month ago, we talked about the one of the, the circuit courts or one of the district courts uh, in the federal court system, the one right below the Supreme Court ruled uh, the CDC did not have the constitutional authority to put up this deadline or a moratorium, as they call it. Um, and there was a essentially the a poor man's version of a consent decree. Uh, that they wouldn't extend it one more day, one more time, or I guess they allowed them to do one more month. Uh, but everybody is saying, then that's it. End of July, that's it for eviction moratorium. So some states may have a later moratorium than that. I think New York is already out to the end of August. Um, California, who knows what we're going to do here? Uh, you know, but most states will follow the federal guidelines. So instead of next week, it's gonna be next month uh, that evictions will start again. That's number one. Number two, uh, not to be outdone, the uh, foreclosure moratorium that was put in place by the CFPB. There's a ton of government agencies involved in this thing. Consumer Finance Protection Bureau, uh, they have a proposed rule uh, that foreclosures cannot start. They were going to start at the end of July. Now, these are for government loans. Private loans can be filing eviction right now. Uh, but government-backed loans, uh, FHA loans, could be uh, foreclosed upon starting in about 30 days. And they're, they've made a proposal to bump that to after December 31st, not till 2022, before foreclosures can be allowed uh, to to commence uh, or continue for the ones that were suspended because of COVID. There's, they've got a lot of rules in this thing. Uh, you have to live in the house. There's, you have to maintain the house. There's a whole bunch of different things. Uh, we'll see if that thing gets approved, but this is an executive order through the Biden administration once again, so it doesn't need congressional approval. I'm not sure who needs to approve it actually. Uh, so basically you can figure there's not gonna be any foreclosures at a high level until 2022. Kicking the can down the road, in my opinion, and this is all my opinion, uh, does not help this process. Uh, eventually that can will get bigger and it will be a, a great opportunity for us in this business, but it will be worse for the economy. Number three today, um, the Fed's uh, Powell, the chairman of the Fed, uh, Mr. Powell, said that it was very, this is the exact quote, very, very unlikely that the US will see 1970s style inflation in this current inflationary cycle. Um, although the current inflation rate is a little bit higher than what they're expecting, they were expecting about a 3.1%. It's about three and a half percent on an annual basis. Um, and the, the 1970s, when we had horrible inflation, especially during the Carter administration, it was above 10%, actually above 20% for a short period of time. Uh, we're only at about three and a half percent. So he doesn't believe that we're going to see, uh, you know, big, big issues. So I don't think the Fed will do much to stop the inflation. They have the ability through their monetary policy to do that, but I don't believe that they will because it's still within the range that they find acceptable. Uh, we're going to, continue to see probably thing the, the three biggest things that are bringing the inflation rate up are lumber, uh, airlines, and fuel. Uh, but as we already know, lumber prices, uh, futures for lumber have dropped dramatically from what they used to be. And, um, you know, maybe that's going to come under control. So we'll see. Um, just keep your eyes on your grocery tab when you go to the grocery store and, you know, see if it's uh, going up, going down, or remaining neutral. Um, and then finally, um, and we're going to talk about this next week because this is such a complicated topic, but it's a very important topic, topic. The Supreme Court itself ruled last night that essentially the FHFA, FHA, FHFA is the governing body that in 2008 took over uh, Freddie and Fannie, uh, uh, Freddie, Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, 
These were the big, large, what we always now refer to as GSEs, government support, government supported entities. Uh, they, they, they nationalize these large lenders, these two large lenders. And it was, it was done with the idea that it was going to be for a short period of time. Well, what's happened is the government has been stripping all the profit uh, through the FHFA, through the through Fannie and Freddie, they've been stripping all the profit that's been made and they have been supporting uh, other government programs with the money. And they have ruled that that is unconstitutional. In fact, the pure structure of FHFA is ruled unconstitutional. Um, Trump tried, the Trump administration tried to uh, re, uh, tried to take these entities back to private status, basically say you're no longer government protected. That happened in 2008. You know, we're 13 years later, the economy is different. You know, housing loans are better today than they used to be. They're, they're safer. There's no reason to do it. The government wanted to keep it because it was so profitable that they were using it to pad their balance sheet. In other words, they were getting a large, uh, large revenue from it, frankly. Um, Supreme Court said last night, this is clearly unconstitutional. Uh, the Biden administration immediately moved to get rid of the head of the FHFA. And there's going to be all these downstream effects that we're going to see coming up. But I'm going to actually have to study that a little bit because it's very complicated. Um, but it, it will definitely affect our business. Um, you know, in terms of if FHFA stays under government conservatorship or goes back to private, that's an important thing. And like I said, I'll explain that to everybody probably uh, on next Tuesday's call. So that is it for this evening for news you can use. 